Wait, are we cutting off onto the other trail? Yeah. Okay, yell at me. Let's do it! <laughs> I got this left bank transition pretty much done. Um, I did test ride it. It hadn't rained for about a week, so everything was drying up. I couldn't really get it packed. So I test rode a couple times and uh, had a, like a front wheel push. It was just not packed and you've got a lot of G's coming in here. But I think the shape is good now. I kind of steepened it up on the entry here. I might add some more dirt here. Mellows out a little bit. There's almost a slight kink a few feet down. Um, but I might just pack it and let it go and just get on with it. Um, one thing I do need, do need to do is build the lip up a little bit more because the speed I was feeling was necessary to make this turn was not enough to really hit this smooth. I was kind of casing up a little bit. I might build the lip out just a couple inches and then up a little bit more and that should do it. And then from there I'm going to start clearing out a uh, right hand turn around that tree far enough outside around it to clear the roots hopefully and then we're going to have a short straight i think with either one double or maybe a four pack and then do another left turn down there and we'll continue on so i think i'm going to pack this up and add some drill into this right now Okay, got this all shaped up. 
It's looking a lot better. That should provide a nice loft into the bank transition. And packed it up and added a little more. I filled in that, that low spot up there. And it just got done raining pretty hard for a couple days. Uh, right after I built this, you can see the uh, the natural drainage has worked great. There's absolutely no standing water. I have another transition like this, like a miniature version on Cookie Dough, the Loam Trail. It stayed free from filling up with water for like two and a half seasons, and then it finally started to to pool up a little bit. What really makes the difference is is filling this in, keeping it perforated, and then filling it in with uh, with organic material from the uh, forest floor. Layer that in on the inside, and then that will kind of diffuse that effect of uh, of the silt and sediment sealing up the draining properties of it. Kind of delays it for uh, for a while. So next on is, uh, is the next turn. So I'm going to clear out that area and start building that. Okay, we're two turns, two transitions in to the phase three of the trail, float across. And I've got this one packed in nicely. This one just finished shaped and had two stages of packing. And I'm going to let it get rained on and then do another pack on it, a final pack. And I just did a little test run. It's still really soft, so when it firms up, I think it'll shoot you nicely about 10 feet to a step down transition. This, this transition will be straight but banked a little bit, and it will launch you into another left-hand turn. Continue down the steep face, this final face of the hill that the trail is on. This is gonna be probably the funnest section of the trail. Constant turning, it's almost like a, uh, a squiggly dashed line down the mountainside. Transitions, either bank transition or berms with shark fins out. I've cleared this out already, and I will get going on digging this transition out. The jump trail isn't quite finished, but I have a connector onto the Loam Rhythm Trail where it comes really close to it. So I'm going to do a couple full e-bike laps that I haven't done yet because I've been so busy digging while the conditions are still prime. This is going to be fun. So there's the 
Loom Rhythm Trail exit, climbing trail entrance for a full loop. Let's go. So fun. Yes. And that's where we are. Well, I completely forgot to do the connector onto cookie dough. <laughs> I just kept going down the jump trail. Well, it looks like the trail building season is almost done. Not much rain in the forecast. So gonna probably finish up here on the jump trail. And I got pretty far. I wanted to get a little farther down to the bottom of the steep section, phase three, but um, we, entered in a couple turns into it, so that's good. So I've got this turn done. And the reason I started with this turn before I built this transition out of that turn is I wanted to see how much dirt I could get out of here because this is really close to three trees. So, but uh, I did pretty good and I don't think I'm gonna need to move any of this dirt here. So I can go back and make this nice and poppy and then also move some dirt back into this berm to make it steeper and built out a little more. So it's more of a launch. You can see I was just taking some test runs and got real high when, I have, when it's starting to pack in and getting dry out and getting some actual speed into it. So I need to build it out and also lift it up more so it has more lift coming out of the end. So you pop out a little more, dive into this transition. And I'd like to make this either kind of deep and steep into this berm or just a transition you dive into and then almost kind of roll into this berm. So what I'm gonna do with the remainder of spring is I'm going to go down and continue working on the pump track that I've been working on. It was running good last summer, but it's still not absolutely perfect. It pumps great, but it doesn't pop all the way around great. I'll get into that in another video. If you've seen my pop and pump track video, I explained what the concept of the track is. So when I do that, I might come back up here, uh, even if it's dry, and cut the rest of this trail in just as a loamer, just cut the route so that we can ride the jump trail all the way down. I did build a transfer into cookie dough, which I just rode down. I just did a full loop on that for the first time, which was really fun, but I would like to have the option of just riding down this route and getting to ride this extra bit that I built. So we'll get to that and start a time-lapse. Wait, are we cutting off onto the other trail? Yeah. Okay, yell at me. It's okay. like right after we're homeless, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter if we keep riding the rest of this trail, we can just stop and okay. walk well, back up. We should up. try to cut onto the Lomer. Sure. Trail. Yeah. And that's, so there's <clears throat> the triple that we were doing and then it's right after that, or the triple we were Ryan, looking at. Yeah. On, on the last jump, before you transfer to the Lomer, I'll yell last jump. All right, like let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Creative lines!
that's it. Yeah. <laughs> what? So fun. Oh my gosh. Those turns at the end. Oh, I can't believe it. No way. Which one's the lone ones or oh. the or the S turn? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Holy man. <sighs> uh. <laughs> so fun. Holy crap. I'm glad I spotted the little entrance into the new trail. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I liked your creative line on the first jump. <laughs> I was saying that you I can't believe that's the perfect. I was like, whatever, just try it out. Yeah. I totally missed the trail. That was mountain biking. <laughs> <laughs>